What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D up here, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Dear Diary, today is like 9.30 p.m. Oh, on November 3rd, 2020. And if you're watching this in the future and that date means nothing to you, uh, it's election day, which means currently the fate of our nation, or at least in the U.S., uh, is being decided upon. <laughs> Fun stuff. So here I am recording. Uh, not that I'm trying to escape it or anything. A lot of people are saying, oh, I need a distraction. I, not really, but what is... Why does that have a shipping bin on it? What the heck? Is that new? Why is it showing me a shipping bin on these items? Is it saying I have some in the bin? Or I have some in a chest already in here? Ooh. Hold on. Someone mentioned... Yeah, I don't know why those are showing up. That's going to bother me, maybe. Um, so I mentioned that this can basically be used as a chest, which it looks like it can. So we're going to store all of our egg stuff in here. Beautiful. And then obviously we're going to process some, but that's really convenient. I'm going to do that with my barn and my coop, and then we'll get rid of these chests. That's beautiful. Let me go ahead and process stuff, and then we shall continue. Okay, I won't lie. I'm already slightly sold on the whole auto grabber. I know I was talking about how I didn't really want to do it because of how it would, I don't know, lessen my connection with my animals, but just the time we get back to our day is already worth it. Uh, we haven't done much yet and I'm already making that decision. So Ooh, I stand corrected. It's pretty awesome. All right, uh, let's grab some more row. We'll fill these up. And then I have a lot of crops to harvest and also um, actually, you know what? Let me harvest my crops and then we'll talk about whatever that also happens to be. All right. So that also, uh, when was the last time you guys can remember that I went and took care of our vineyard? I don't know what happened, but for some reason I forgot about it. Uh, so we have literally every single grape ready to be harvested. So... I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to process, actually, not grapes, but coffee. That's right. You guys have been uh, encouraging me to drink more coffee, and I probably should, just for movement's sake, just to get around faster. And if I remember, which I said I was going to last time and totally didn't, uh, we might go visit Gus. Actually, we have to visit Emily for her birthday today. It's also Saturday, so maybe we'll pay a trip to the saloon, talk to Gus, visit Emily while she's there working... It all, it all works out. But um, I took a look before I started recording at getting my kegs in my uh, winery to sync back up. Literally every single grape that I tried from this modded uh, grape pack, Stardew Winery, or sorry, Stardew Vineyard, has the exact same processing time. It was like 71.2 minutes, whatever that equates to in in-game time. I'm not sure, but... So, you know how I was saying, you know, we're going to add some kegs and then start processing them and eventually they'll sync back up so they're all on the same schedule. Uh, that's not how that's going to work, actually, because if we keep doing that, well, I mean, eventually it will, but it's going to take forever. Um, so we're just going to stash some grapes and then add some... Hold on, do I have kegs to add? I don't have kegs to add. I thought I had kegs to add. We'll move... Hold on. This one's actually going to move... We're going to put the chest right there so it's front and center when we walk in. And then this will continue our, our little walkway all around. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more and we're done? <gasps> That's kind of exciting. Maybe I can make those today. I'll have to go check. But before we check, we have to go finish harvesting our grapes and then drop all this stuff off. And then I think we'll meet uh, in time to go visit Emily. Should be fun. All right. It's done. Coffee's processing. And I need to go make some more kegs. And I also need to make a few more furnaces. Thank you guys for the feedback on the blacksmithing area. Uh, I got a couple comments that I want to address. One, is this anvil usable? Uh, no, it's purely decorative. But uh, do I show you now? We do have... Yeah. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, we do have a... Where is it at? I think I can craft it, actually. I don't know if I can craft it yet, but... Uh, yes, there it is. An anvil. So we can make our own. It's literally... That's actual size. So it's real dinky. 
uh, 10 iron, 10 iridium, 5 fire quartz, and 5 hardwood. So it's a bit expensive, uh, but that will actually allow us to break our own geodes, which will be awesome. And I'm thinking, I did some playing around with this. Um, actually, you know what? I'll save that idea for later, but I've got a perfect spot for it where it'll look awesome, I, I think. Um, and I want to add a second row of furnaces, adding four here and then another four here. I think I'm going to leave these three just so I can get around here. We'll still be blocking off this section by adding four, but it won't be perfectly symmetrical, but I think I'm actually going to like that. It breaks it up a little bit. Also, I tested... <laughs> Uh, I do a lot of modding stuff off screen. I tested building the uh, tractor garage right there. And uh, bad news. I'm probably going to have to do some more modding stuff. Or like custom stuff to get it to work. It refuses to be placed in that location. I don't know what it is about the map that just says no, you cannot exist here. But it says no, you cannot exist here. So not sure what we're doing on that front. But uh... Let's throw one of those in there. The other is going to be a gift for Emily. Which, are we ready to go in town and do right now? I think we are. Is there anything I'm missing? Yeah, we'll do that. Then we'll come back to the farm and we'll work on making a bunch of stuff. Because I definitely have stuff to make. Um, and then tomorrow will be all farm prep stuff. So I have to basically root up all of my sprinklers. And then convert them all. Place them all in the top-down orientation. And just prep my fields for summer one, which is going to be insane. And I might even check to see. Actually, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to check to see what resources we have as far as uh, tractor garage materials are concerned. If we can get the garage, we now have an extra 50,000. And I probably just threw another... I didn't actually count it, but I'm going to guess we're making at least another 15, 20 grand today just from what we sold. So if we can get. Yeah, that's not happening. Never mind. Unless. Hold on. Clint, you're open till four, right, buddy? Hold on. Mine carts are open. Let's be smart. We can take this to town and then we can whistle for our horse. Beautiful. All right, Clint, do you sell bars? I can't remember. Shop. He sells ore. And a bunch of decorative stuff. I forgot I added this mod. These are little uh, copper flower pots with different flowers. Flower pots? Copper watering cans. There we go. With flowers in them. I think they're adorable. Okay, we can buy iron ore. I needed five bars, so that's... 1250 per bar is that worth buying five no because then we have to smelt it down basically what i was thinking if we had the materials we could then go to robin today and buy it i don't think we do though so that's okay that'll have to wait i did get the uh sprinkler activation mod whatever that's called well activate sprinklers i think it's what it's actually called so that'll be very useful gus you're Emma's not here yet. Uh, that's okay. What do you sell that I want that people keep telling me to buy? The recipe's five grand. Are you kidding? I mean, we're going to do it, but... Jeez. Shallots and red onion and ra rapeseed flour? Those, I think, are modded items. They definitely have to be, right? I've never seen those before. Those are kind of cool. That's stuff we have, look, uh, have to look forward to planting now that we're in a new year with new crops and whatnot. And speaking of new stuff, I have uh, a couple tricks up my sleeve that are coming up, which I'm excited to share slash experience with you guys. So, uh, Caroline, nice hat. I thought I'd set a good example for Abigail with the aerobics classes I host, but if anything, it just seems like it pushes her away from wanting to exercise. Why? Because it involves socializing? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Ooh, hello, birthday girl. How are you? You love that, right? Yeah, you do. You remember my birthday. Thank you. This is great. You're welcome. In a way, Yoba plays an important uh, role in my life, but I believe her present... Her! I did not know Yoba was a she. Her presence goes beyond anything we can comprehend. Who knows? Maybe she isn't even a she. Okay, so maybe Emily doesn't know either. That's all right. Okay, guys, I'm so happy I fixed the town. 
or at least somewhat it's better it's usable now instead of broken and buggy for at least my standards and i wish i wonder if there's a way to tweak the butter now that i'm into tweaking mods assuming i have the permissions that's one thing i make sure i always have um I wonder if I can tweak the butterfly mod to force them to always be on top. Because when they go like partly above and below a bush, it, it bothers me a little bit. Then again, what doesn't? All right. Let's take a look at what we can... Actually, let's take a look at our resources for seven more kegs. It's going to dip into our iron bars. I think that's okay, though. We're not going to have our tractor for summer one. So I don't think having a tractor immediately is going to be necessary. I think our first time really getting to enjoy using the tractor is going to be fall one. Uh, we'll get it before then for sure. But let's go ahead and do this. This copper ore. Oh my gosh. I forgot how expensive furnaces are. One, two, three. I don't have copper, do I? Ooh, hold on. Okay, it's 20. That's 80, 100. 160. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? We're going to be like... We're just cutting it. Mm, this makes me sad. If I make all these into bars... Hold on. I'm trying to math through this real quick. I didn't grab the bars. I think that's right. I don't know. We're going to be just shy. If I grab every single copper bar... We don't even have copper bars. Because they're needed for the keg. Right? Yeah. Wow. My brain, guys. This is what happens when I record at 9.30 p.m. I, I don't know why. I'm a night owl normally, but my brain sh starts shutting off before I go to bed. Significantly before. So uh, you're getting to witness my lack of brain right now. All right. Let's just make these. We need four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all of our copper. That'll give us three additional kegs, meaning we're going to be one short, which is what I thought might be the case. But that's okay. This is going to look really nice. It's not even necessary. I don't know when I've ever used this much stuff, but oh, look at this timing. Beautiful. Go back in there. Cool. So that's two out of five. That'll be done soon-ish. That takes a couple days, actually, so never mind. Oh, dang it. Yeah, we needed... We need seven to finish off. That's okay. Let's go get these in place. And then, heck, we might actually start on farm stuff uh, a little sooner than tomorrow, just in case. Any of the ones... Well, no. A lot of stuff still needs to be watered. Actually, does it? We don't need to water our strawberries or our coffee beans, because those won't be... Actually, yes, coffee beans we do. Just kidding. Cauliflower and kale, we don't. Because they'll be ready tomorrow. I think that's how that works. <gasps> Coffee's ready. Beautiful. I'm just going to keep doing coffee for a little bit. So, this is exciting. Alright, these last six. Well, not last six. These six. Almost last six. We need one more. Oh, I picked up the chest. And now Automate's doing things. Um, how, how much do I care? I'm... As much as I don't want to say it, I am actually starting to, like, automate. I realize it's not going to work everywhere in here. But I could... There's pathing connectors. If I connect that, and then connect that, and connect these, that would attach everything together. <sighs> Guys, what are your thoughts on using Automate in here? Part of me really doesn't want to. Part of me also really does. That's why we already had three coffee in there. Wait, is it? No, it's not. I just deposited the... It might have been. I don't know. I'm going to leave it on for now. If I change my mind, I'll change my mind. But... Plus, it's only automated to that tiny little section. So, I mean, it's not... It's not that bad, right? All right, though. I have not planned out at all what crops there are in summer. So I am at a loss. Oh my gosh. Hold on one sec. We're going to get rid of this music. This is, this is going to drive me nuts. 
All right, quick little off the farm and back on the farm is a good fix for that. All right, strawberries will be dying, so I can pull all of these sprinklers. This is going to be so tedious, but I've got to do it. So all of these, I don't think watering these actually keeps them from despawning because we definitely have a couple that have despawned already. Plus, with the season change, anything that doesn't have a crop in it pretty much goes away. Not, you know, 100%, but it's, it's pretty bad. Um, this one and this guy. Then our strawberry sprinklers. This is so weird to do. Did I just get a seed from a sprinkler? I think I did. That's very weird. Um, our green beans won't be ready either. This is so strange to do, guys. I, it feels wrong. It really does. What is right here? A tree. Okay. All of these trees need to go. Literally everything up here has got to go because I'm going to be placing these sprinklers as high up as they can possibly go. Assuming that my hoeing everywhere mod still works. Um, I might need to do some reconfiguring. It should allow me to hoe there. Didn't we test that before and it worked? I thought it did. Crap, it might be something about this map that's restricting it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'm going to do that. If we waste some spaces, we waste some spaces. It's okay. Okay, I was just thinking for a sec. I'm really confused why this isn't working. I know we tested this once. Wait, what? Why do those spaces work, but... I'm confused. This should work everywhere. I'm able to hoe... Oh my gosh, now we just need to convert all these. I'm able to hoe um, in other places, like our entire orchard area, or soon-to-be orchard area. I can hoe that entire area, no problem, but... Ooh. You guys just got a little sneak peek. I didn't mean to do that, but that's okay. Oh my gosh, we have to convert these all... I should not be complaining. This is such a nice feature that the line sprinkler mod added, just having the ability to craft them back and forth. Here I am complaining about having to go through an extra step. Shame on me. No, we need all of these in downward firing motions. That's 24. That is insane and probably unnecessary. And we're gonna be wasting a lot of these, I imagine, but that's okay because science. That one will just do there because that's a wasted space. But ideally, I'd like to be able to plant in all of these spaces. That would be so incredibly nice because that's kind of my vision for this whole farm area is it's 113. I should sleep. We also only have nine sprinklers left. So, and then one more right there. Oh, that worked out perfectly. Beautiful. Let's go to bed. I'm tired. Ah, day 27 down. What did I say? We've been making, what, 15, 20 grand? 19? That's pretty close. Not that we have our tractor anyway, but... Or not that we started on the tractor, because it takes two days and all that jazz, but... Okay. No rain today, which means we're officially not catching Legend. Not that I was counting on that. We still have another year now that I delayed Grandpa, so... I always wanted my very own library. This is so charming. Aww. Wait till I decide to actually decorate. This area down here is going to, assuming I stick with the same upgraded house mod that I'm planning on using at the moment, it's going to double, almost triple in size. So yeah, we're going to have a lot of room to work with. A lot of room for bookshelves. And eventually, I should check the TV. Eventually, I'm going to get the furniture catalog and then we'll get fancy inside. I know I haven't touched this place, but... <gasps> Lucky lunch. Don't we need that for... I think we need that for something. Uh, no. It's complete breakfast that we need. And that's one we already did. I was thinking we needed this for the bond. I didn't mean to click through that. Oops. I clicked over to my, my notes and then back into the game. And that kind of clicked through it. So, I have a special offer. I managed to get the summer seeds a day in advance. Isn't that great? It is. Assuming we only want the vanilla ones. I wish that applied to modded seeds as well, but heck, we can at least see what we're working with, right? And see, I didn't need to do that, did I? Nope. Uh, see what we're working with and try to plan. 
Let's be real. That's probably not even going to happen. I'm going to take our animals and then we'll go look at our sad state of uh, fields and harvest them one final time. At least in spring. Then we'll do it all over again in summer. All right. I'm going to take a look. Oh, this looks so sad. All unwatered and whatnot. I'm going to take a look at the mod uh, that I'm using. I don't even remember the name of it. That allows me to hoe anywhere. Because clearly it works in some places. Like our entire future orchard but here i'm not sure why it doesn't also this is gonna look weird you know what we probably should do is just take a scarecrow and tuck it back in this corner just to use this space because i don't think it's gonna be oh my gosh we have to cover all this in scarecrows that is something i did not really think about i think what i'm gonna end up doing is just treating it like you would any normal i say normal uh, normal field and not place them outside it but actually plop them in the field I think that makes sense so this guy will be out here and then we'll just cover where we need sporadically throughout the field so might make it a little bit more difficult for uh, harvesting and planting and stuff but I think that's going to be ideal so alright this is all of our harvest all of our grapes we picked yesterday so I don't imagine we have a single grape oh that's not what I meant to do Rest in peace, coffee plant. You will be missed. All right. These are all getting pulled. Not that I'm not going to keep these coffee plants. I probably will in that exact same spot. So maybe we'll do another two things of coffee and just... Oh, gosh. This is ridiculous. This is incredibly ridiculous. And then I'm going to actually... Ooh, what am I doing? Those can actually probably just stay... So I don't think I'm going to work my way over here. We'll just keep these guys exactly where they're at. Those are fine. And then we'll pull sprinklers everywhere else and start actually doing what will eventually be our our fields. So I'm going to... Oh my gosh. Thank you. I can hold that. Beautiful. I don't need to be hoeing stuff though. I'm going to pause time for a second just because I'm going to be doing nothing but counting and then start placing some of these sprinklers, which I need to convert um, actually, no. Yes, I do need to convert them. All of these will need to be upward-facing sprinklers because I'm going to do another row 16 spaces down from these. So we'll have maximum sprinkler ridge. It's going to be beautiful. And done pots. All right. So I got my sprinklers laid down. I didn't actually have to do that much counting, but right here, it's slightly unfortunate, but from here all the way down to where these would be at the very bottom is 17 instead of 16 so i had to pull these up by one i technically had to do it all the way to here but then we'd have these two one lower and that would be weird and bother me so we are just doing a straight line across eventually my goal is to have all iridium sprinklers all on the top and then have nothing at the bottom then we'll do the same thing down here but all at the bottom facing upwards towards the top and then we'll have our grain field or like a bunch of wheat with our mill in the middle of it a little path going to it it's gonna be beautiful then maybe a little bit of separate coffee plantation or something i don't know but i'm gonna use some of that space for crops not all just the top section um ooh, these don't technically need to be here either and i could convert these to any direction i want hmm Decisions, decisions. We have five of those. What I might just do is replace... Which ones are... Where are we covered through? Here. I'm going to replace five of them with iridium sprinkler. Six of them, right? No, five. Two, three, and then four, five. With iridium. And then we'll be able to go upwards for one, two, three, four, five. So we'll be short two. Unless I pull that one and face it. Oh, I don't know. I got options is all I'm trying to say. Okay. It's done. It's a bit janky, but it's done and it's beautiful. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to carry my crops all the way over here eventually. I'm thinking yes. I'm thinking yes. Ooh, what if we bring them over a little bit further, like over here? Then this still becomes our little reading nook for Penny and just a sitting area and that kind of nice flowery gardeny type area i think that's gonna be lovely whenever i get it done 
Then we have a path coming down from our furnace area, maybe? A small one? Maybe two that tapers off into one and then kind of snakes its way through. And then the rest of this is all field. So we're having to walk through our field. That could be kind of cool. I don't know, guys. I got so many, so many thoughts in my head and not enough places to put them. We'll just leave it at that. I'm going to sell some stuff real quick, though, because this is a mess. And then what are we doing for the rest of today? It's the last day. That is so weird. It is the last day of spring. And then tomorrow, I guess... Crap. I was just about to say, we could go to Pierre and see what seeds he's selling. Uh, but that time has come and gone. So I need to think about what else I can do to prepare for summer. We have the money. Uh, I don't really need to decorate more here. I do want to do more to it. I don't know what. And Robin does have a couple items. Um, one of which is a sword, which is awesome. I want to lean that up against this. Actually, if you look at the thumbnail from last episode, I had that in there because I was doing some more tinkering after I finished just to see what else I could add. Um, but there's also a little brush we can get that might look good somewhere in here. And this tool rack. It bothers me. It's three wide. This cliff is four wide. It just doesn't it just doesn't work. I I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that. The color is not great. It kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. This is the focal point with that kind of goldish, reddish color. It's beautiful. And then your eye gets just drawn to this because it's the same color. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I could stand here and look at things and contemplate all day long, but I need to actually be productive with my time. So let's you know what? Let's do an inaugural an inaugural uh, lighting of all of these and just light them all up. Ooh, you know what we do need to do, actually? Ooh, we're going to do a little bit more tinkering right here. I was doing this uh, off camera again when I was buying stuff and placing it and just testing different stuff. We're going to actually expand and rework slightly this area. It's nothing crazy. Um, but this looks really weird having a building right here and then this extending out by one. So if we actually remove this and then we'll do the building right there and then this now comes down to there, that gives us a little building. This will look better. It looks a little weird right now, but then we'll have, I don't know, no excess pathing on either side. It's a four wide building. Then we get our four wide path for a tractor, which makes sense having it nice and large. Uh, yeah, I think that works. Again, it looks a little strange right now, but then that allows us to take our chests and move them to where they make sense. Having our blacksmithing stuff with our blacksmithing stuff, I think makes perfect sense. I'm also going to have to rename these, recolor them, and re... Did my hotkeys die? I think my hotkeys died. I had to update this, and it destroys the hotkey. I think it's N... But if you click that, it does the same thing. I'm going to have to remove automate from some of these again. So this will be fun. But I'm going to get a couple of these moved over. I don't know if there's anything else I want to do over here. But I'm thinking now that I expanded this by one, it's no longer going to be claustrophobic to place them along here. So I think that'll work. I'm hoping that'll work. Oh my gosh. I just lost the chest. It can go behind there. <gasps> Idea. Okay, hold on. We're testing something real quick. This is amazing. Uh, okay, I'm going to spawn this thing in just for testing. Uh, what's it called? Uh, anvil? Yes. So this is the anvil we could eventually craft to make our own geodes. What if we were to take this? I just now remembered. Okay, so when you place furniture down, anything that's larger than one tile only technically occupies one tile. It's going to be the farthest and most top left of that item. So this tool rack, which is three by one, it only has collision or is placed right there. The asset just happens to extend out two to the right. Same thing with this. We can place it on the right side, but not the left. Probably same thing with this. And with that thing down there, we're out of range. But yeah, you get the idea. We just lost our chest to that. Can we place this? This should only be physically right there. So if we were to place this underneath that hammer, it disappears. 
and then we can still access it so we can process geodes on this little like countertop by the forge. Can I get it back, please? Can I break it and remove it and throw it away? Because that's cheating. Yeah, let's do that. Speaking of cheating, I never threw away resources for a trap bobber. Copper bar and sap? Crap. If I had the copper bar to toss, I would. Um, we'll do that when I have copper bars to spare, I suppose. Because I, I don't want to be a cheater. I remember that. I just forgot. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to keep moving items over. As fun as that is to watch. All right, it's 110, but I want to do a show and tell, so I'm pausing real quick. Uh, this is going to work out beautifully, I think. I've got my chests actually in different spots, which I think makes sense. And this actually helps balance this out. We've got our, our tool rack, and right next to our tools are our weapons with our monster parts as well, because there's not enough that I'm going to save. If this gets full, I'll just sell everything to the Adventurer's Guild. Uh, we've got our artifacts up here. Presumably, we're smithing some of them ourselves. I, I don't know, but that makes sense. It's out of the way, and I don't need this that often. Plus, it's not really obstructing anything that's decorative back there. I can't actually walk to it, but you can access stuff diagonally, so it doesn't matter. Uh, then we've got our ores and gems, which I never... Sorry, ores and bars, which I never labeled. I'll fix that. And apparently I hit caps lock at some point. My bad. Um, can I... You have to delete it all. Ores and bars. And for this, we want to automate... Because this is one we have connected up to our two uh, charcoal processors. Charcoal processors. Charcoal kilns. So we could throw some wood in here and then it'll make it. And then we'll get some coal. So we want to put and take into that one. But then this one should be disabled. Yep. So we've got our gems in here. And I think this is going to work really nicely. I might come back and add another anvil or something down here in the corner. Eventually, we're going to fence this off, I think. I'm still debating on fence types uh, to add to the game, or I guess I should say to replace the ones we currently have. Uh, I'm set on this hardwood uh, fence. I'm really enjoying it, the one we have around our vineyard. You guys know what it looks like. And then this is the regular wood fence. I really like that as well. And speaking of fences, we're turning that on. I was going to add, what was it called? Uh, zero fence, no fence decay. I think that's a mod. Yeah, no fence decay. And then uh, I believe it was honey. No, not honey. Kitty, I believe, reminded me that there's a durable fences option in CGB Cheats. So I'm going to do that to allow myself to be able to use whatever the heck type of fence I want just so I can make things look the way I want and not have to worry about the varying durabilities, which I think makes perfect sense, at least for my aestheticness. Plus, it's just annoying to have to redo fences. It's not fun. It's not an added game mechanic. It's just, well, I guess it is, but it's just a bit annoying. So I'm doing it and you're not changing my mind. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, that does it for spring though, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. It's summertime. This is going to be a stressful next episode. We have 22... No. 220,000. I was going to say 2,200 grand, but that... I mean, it's technically right, but... Oh, boy. All this is going away. It's beautiful. We have got some debris to clear. Oh, and then we have to redo scarecrows everywhere. Which makes sense, but... This is going to be so nice. All of this gets to be crops. And I'm realizing I forgot to replace a sprinkler there. So we'll pull one and go put it over there. But this is... Oh, we have one right here that's not in use. Perfect. We'll grab that one and we'll put it there. <laughs> that works. Oh, and then our vineyard. Some of these are multi-yield or multi-season. Very few. Actually, it's almost like I did it intentionally. I didn't, but that's really neat. We might pull the Moscato depending on how many types of grapes there are. If there's one, two, three, 
four, five types of summer grapes, that'd be awesome because then it would fit perfectly. Two rows of each. But, oh man. Guys, our farm is slowly coming together. I'm really liking it. This blacksmith area is looking really nice now. I'm very much pleased with it. We'll add something there and then we'll add functionality to this forge. I'm not sure how I want to do the fences, what type of fence, and then if I want to do path under the fence or not. Or sorry, flooring, like I do over here, or do it on the outside. If I do it on the outside, then that becomes an issue for our tractor. So I need to move this all back in one, which is not ideal. Or I could just do it at the bottom, since it's, you know, keeping us away from our crops or something. Or maybe this is a barrier, so we don't need it there, and then we'll just do it on the bottom. I don't know, guys. I really don't. But ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm going to end for today. Yet again, in front of our lovely new forge. Because it's just, I love it so much. But thank you guys for watching. I hope uh, our country still exists next time I see you. <laughs> depending on the aftermath of people freaking out from this election. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I hope. <laughs> Until then, as always, take care.